Hello, my name is Peter Chalmers, and this is my video on ulnar collateral ligament repair. This begins with an incision on the inside of the elbow that is three inches long. Once we've made our incision through the skin, we'll make sure that all the small blood vessels on the back side of the skin are perfectly coagulated. We're using what's called a bipolar electrocutter here to make sure that no energy travels anywhere but between the two tines of the forceps. We'll dissect here carefully because right beneath the skin is the ulnar nerve, which is going to be a major component of this procedure. Getting that nerve protected throughout the procedure is really critical. You can see me there palpating the nerve and then carefully dissecting around it as it travels right next to the triceps and right behind what's called the medial epicondyle, which you'll see later on in the procedure. So you can see me there feeling the nerve, dissecting it out. You see us here working carefully to make sure the nerve is completely freed up all the way up the upper portion of the arm, again, using the bipolar cautery to make sure that we get all the blood vessels. You'll see me here use my finger to make sure the nerve is free, traveling up the arm. Then we'll continue our dissection around the nerve, traveling down into the forearm. You'll see me here carefully, carefully dissect to make sure we don't injure that nerve, to make sure the nerve is completely free so we can move it out of harm's way. We'll then use this clamp to pass what's called a Penrose drain. This is surgical tubing that is flexible to make sure that it doesn't injure the nerve. We'll pass this around the nerve and we'll use this to, to manipulate the nerve to make sure we're not actually pulling on the nerve with any sharp instruments to make sure we don't damage the nerve. You'll see, you see me here carefully freeing the back side of the nerve, making sure that we can pull it from the pull it again away out of harm's way. That's going to be critical for this procedure because during the procedure we're going to need to work underneath where the nerve normally is, which is the ulnar collateral ligament, which is what we're going to be repairing. We'll remove some tissue right here behind the epicondyle called the septum. Removing this tissue is critical to make sure that when the nerve is moved out of harm's way, it's not tented over this tissue. It's not stretched. Stretching of the nerve is very bad for it. So you can, you can see me here removing the septum to make sure that the nerve is not under any tension during the procedure. So I'll move the nerve here again out of the way. The nerve is here moved and now we can begin to work to elevate some of the muscle on top of the ligament. This is called the flexor pronator and it's really important for function of the elbow and the hand. So we'll be careful here to make sure we don't damage any of that muscle. You see me here careful, carefully elevating the muscle so that we can make sure that we have a clean exposure of the ligament without damaging the muscle on top. You'll see me here carefully pulling the, the muscle out of the way. And now we have a complete exposure of the ligament. You'll see me here palpating to make sure we know exactly where the ligament attaches in the lower arm bone, pointing that out for my assistant. And now we're going to make a cut in the middle of the ligament. This cut is going to allow us to identify exactly where the ligament attaches. It's also going to allow us to identify the tear within the ligament. So once we've made that cut, you'll see me here taking my forceps and pulling the ligament on either side. And you can see how the ligament is lax. The ligament here does not have any tension within it because it is torn off the lower arm bone side. You can see me there exposing the tear by pulling the ligament down. We're going to use a kit for this repair. It involves two anchors. You can see that kit there. Here's me loading up the first anchor that goes into the lower arm bone, the forearm bone. We'll drill in the bone there, carefully making sure to protect the nerve so we know exactly where the nerve is and then making sure that we put that exact where the ligament is supposed to attach. We'll then cut threads into the bone for the anchor and you can see me here cutting the threads using something called a tap. Once that's removed, then we'll be ready to insert our anchor and the anchor itself will have sutures on it. You can see that anchor being inserted there. You can see me then they're, they're inserting the anchor and then again these sutures will use to take that ligament and pull it back down to the bone where it's supposed to be attached. So you'll see me separating the sutures, loading those onto a needle, and then taking that needle and passing that needle through the ligament tissue that's torn here. We'll pass that once and then again and on the second pass we'll pass the needle back through the loop that's created by that second pass. That is what's called a locking stitch. That makes sure that the uh, that the suture grabs hold of the ligament tissue. You see me passing through that loop. Grabs hold of the ligament tissue to make sure that it gets excellent an, an, an excellent grab on that tissue so that it can pull it right back down to the bone from which it is torn. We'll do that on both sides, both the top and bottom side of the ligament as you can see here. Again, making our second pass so that we can create a loop and then passing the needle back through the loop again to create that grasping suture so that we can grasp that ligament tissue. And then when I tie this, you notice a little bit of blood squirts out from the elbow. Essentially what's happening is when I tie this, it's retensioning the ligament, retightening the elbow back down, and making sure that ligament tear is gone. 
So once that's tied effectively, we've now repaired the ligament and everything else we're going to do here is reinforcements. So you can see now the ligament is taut. Once again, there's no more of that laxity you saw earlier. Now you'll see me here closing that split we made within the ligament. And part of the reason for this is to, to make sure that the elbow itself is closed as there's fluid within the elbow and I don't want that to leak out. The secondary reason is because that makes sure that this secondary reinforcement, which is called a tape, ends up outside of the elbow. So you'll see me passing both the sutures from the ligament closure as well as that tape through a second anchor. So this is all getting that anchor prepared so that I can pass it later on. We make sure that we get the correct length for that tape. So you'll see me here tensioning that and then marking the correct length. Here I'll drill for that second anchor that's going to go up into the upper arm bone portion here. We'll then cut threads just as we did in the lower arm bone here. So we see us drilling here, carefully making sure that's all in bone, cutting the threads for that. And then we'll take that anchor that we prepared previously on which we loaded the sutures from the ligament closure as well as from um, our uh, ligament augmentation, our, our, our um, ligament repair here on top, and then ins inserting that anchor. That tensions the ligament on both sides in case there's any damage on the upper arm bone side. It also makes sure that that tape that goes across the top is going to be fully tensioned and fixated. You can see the tape there now covering the ligament. That acts as a special reinforcement to make sure that the repair holds and make sure the ligament has as much, enough strength as it can have. You'll see me here now sewing the tape to the native ligament. This tape is coated in collagen to make sure that it incorporates with the ligament and augments our repair. You see our completed repair there. The nerve is pulled up out of the way. You can see the tape over the top of our ligament repair. And you'll see me here now confirming that the elbow still has full passive range of motion that we haven't constrained the elbow or uh, created any abnormal kinematics for the ligament reconstruction. And here I think we can be quite happy that that's done. Now I'll inspect the nerve and make sure that it looks happy and healthy all the way down at the bottom towards the lower arm bone, all the way out at the top towards the uh, upper arm bone. So the nerve here looks really good. We'll create a space for the nerve because we're going to do what's called a transposition. The transposition pulls the nerve out of harm's way and moves it to the other side of the elbow. Um, and this is an important part of the procedure is otherwise the nerve will be lying on top of our ligament repair and that can create scar tissue around the nerve. Once the nerve is pulled towards the front of the elbow out of harm's way, we'll keep it there by closing the skin to the medial pacondyle here. You'll see me sewing that. Um, and you can see the nerve being held out of the way by that instrument my assistant is holding. And then I'll put my fingers in here and confirm on both sides that there's plenty of space for the nerve. There's nerve is not being pinched. And then we'll close the skin and we're done. Thank you so much for watching my video. 